Now we're going to take a moment to talk about Prediction Strike, the stock market of the NFL. We talk about this every week, how fantasy football season is over. But you still look at players like, hey, I want to invest stock in them. And if I actually had stock in this player, for instance, Gabriel Davis last week, I would have doubled my money if I had Gabriel Davis. His stock went up 100%. Well, there's a platform out there right now where you can buy shares of players like it's a stock market and it's called prediction strike so if you haven't learned about it if you haven't signed up if you haven't been watching time to football i encourage you guys to click that link in the description use the promo code t2f that's the letter t the number two the letter f sign up start playing and if you deposit of up to twenty dollars or more you get a free share of a player using that promo code but yes it's the stock market for fantasy football so if a player exceeds their fantasy football projection their stock price goes up if they don't exceed their fancy projection, their stock price goes down. But I'm here to help you out. I'm here to give you three players that you need to invest in and three players that maybe you have shares of right now that you just want to get rid of at this point. They have no value for the short term or even for the long term moving forward. So first, let's start with the players that you need to invest in. And let's start with a couple of players that you need to look into for the long term. That's They're not going to make you money this weekend with the conference championships, but for the long run, for 2022, think about investing in a couple of Denver Broncos players. And one includes Jerry Judy. $1.57 a share is not expensive at all. He's up 8% after the news of Nathaniel Hackett being hired by the Denver Broncos. Look at the analysis. He's a watch more than a buy. Nathaniel Hackett will revamp the offense as he's done with the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers is also in the conversation to land as a starting quarterback for the Denver Broncos. Can you imagine if Aaron Rodgers lands in Denver, the stock price of Jerry Judy, a lot of people are going to buy in on him. And if a lot of people buy in on him, the stock price keeps on continuing to increase and increase and increase. All I'm asking you to do is put Jerry Judy on your watch list, whether you want to buy him now, whether you want to wait until Aaron Rodgers and the news of him getting traded to Denver potentially comes out, whatever it may be, Jerry Judy should be on your list of players to watch and invest in for the long run. Player number two that you need to invest in, another Denver Broncos player. We've been talking about him week after week after week, and it does not stop at this point after Nathaniel Hackett got hired by the head uh, by the Denver Broncos to be their head coach. Javante Williams, $5 a share is what he's going for. He's going to be the RB1 next season. Melvin Gordon is not going to be coming back. His contract is out. Nathaniel Hackett is hired as a head coach. He likes to use his running backs, A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, in every single way, in the run game and in the pass game. The signs point to Aaron Rodgers coming to Denver. Can you imagine if Aaron, Aaron Rodgers comes to Denver? Javante Williams is the three down back. And what he did on a per touch basis with the Denver Broncos on the limited snaps that he had, the 50% timeshare with Melvin Gordon, will scratch that and give him more of a 75% timeshare with that offense with Nathaniel Hackett, with Aaron Rodgers potentially as well. Javante Williams would be a buy. Again, just like Jerry Judy, maybe he's more of a watch. But as soon as the news breaks out, well before free agency, according to Aaron Rodgers, that Aaron Rodgers could be traded to Denver, Javante Williams would be the first person that I would buy. The second person I would buy is Jerry Judy. And then maybe Noah Fant and Cortland Sutton would be mixed in there as well. And then the last player that I would invest in via the stock market, and this is just for the short term. This is just for this weekend. If you want to flip them and make some money this weekend, Brandon Ayuk, I do feel like he's going to have a decent game against the Los Angeles Rams. And here's why. Last week was rough against the Green Bay Packers. It was a defensive heavy game. The weather was bad. I understand. But three of his last four games have been over double digit fantasy points. That includes a six reception, 107 yard game versus the LA Rams in week 18. 75% of the games in the last four games have been over double digit points. I am 75% confident that he's going to get uh, he's going to exceed that nine fancy point projection. Brandon Ayuk could be heavily targeted by Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, players that you just want to get rid of, maybe you bought uh, shares of this guy when he started coming onto the scene for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, at an all-time high, I would go ahead and sell shares of Jarek McKinnon at this point. Very good back. I love Jet, Georgia Southern product. He's going for $1.79 a share. He's up 30%. But look at the analysis. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire will hurt McKinnon's value. Daryl Williams is returning from injury. McKinnon will have a role on this offense, no doubt about it. He's going to be involved in the pass game. 
which is awesome. You should not stray away from McKinnon. But the opportunities are going to be limited with the other two backs in the mix. So Jarek McKinnon, right now, while his stock price is just extremely high, go ahead and sell him at this point. You made some money. Don't be greedy. Just sell him. The next player I would sell, and this is for the long term, like just get rid of this guy until further notice, Aaron Jones is a player that you need to sell. I know a lot of people that do have shares of Aaron Jones, $6.35 a share. His price is up. His price is up. He's up 10%. Aaron Rodgers, his future is cloudy. In Prediction Strike, the theme of this is Aaron Rodgers. Where's he going to go? More than likely, the least place possible that he could be at is Green Bay next year. Jones's value will take a hit. Sell him now. I mean, this is the emergence of A.J. Dillon with uh, Jordan Love going to be the quarterback. His value, his production is going to go down with Aaron Rodgers not at the helm. So Aaron Jones, player, just go ahead and cut ties with him at this point. And the last player that you want to go ahead and cut ties with, we talked about him a couple weeks ago, but Tyler Boyd, I'm going to go ahead and remind you guys that you need to get rid of him. He's down to $1.60 a share. He was a sell two weeks ago when his price was at $1.80. I mean, he was scoring touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. But his production is so touchdown dependent, there's a lot of mouths to feed in that offense. T. Higgins is the number two receiver. Jamar Chase is the number one receiver. Tyler Boyd is left down there as a number three target for Joe Burrow. Maybe after Joe Mixon, he could be the number four target. Who knows? After C.J. Uzama. Like, it's just cloudy. It's... He's just part of the committee. He's part of the mix. And if I had to favor anyone in that Cincinnati Bengals offense, it would be the top two receivers and Chase and Higgins rather than Boyd. So I'd just go ahead and sell shares of Tyler Boyd if I had him. So those are three players to buy and three players to sell via Prediction Strike, the stock market for fantasy football. If you guys haven't signed up, so much fun, so fun to watch uh, the games this weekend as you invest in players. Uh, I encourage you guys to click the link in the description, sign up using that promo code T2F, and you get a free share of a player.